<laughs> Did you ever notice how many different kinds of foods there are? Where do they all come from? Oh, that's a really good question, Baby Pop. Food comes from a lot of different places. Let's take a look with... Whoop. Farmers grow the food we eat on farms like this. Wow, that's a big place. Uh -huh. yeah, no, this is a wheat field. To grow foods like wheat, farmers plant their crops this way. Look at all the neat rows. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Farmers also have to water their crops. Look at a lot of water. Wow, look at that machine. Well, that machine picks corn and pours it into a truck. <laughs> Here's another way farmers grow food, on fruit trees. That's where apples, peaches, cherries, and lots of other fruits come from. What about grapes? Well, grapes grow on vines like these and are sometimes picked by hand. I didn't know that. <laughs> After the farmers gather the food, they send it to the supermarket. When I go to the grocery store, my mom always lets me pick out the vegetables. Oh, it's good of you to help your mom, Keisha. There's corn on the cob. That's right. You see, farmers work very hard to bring us all healthy, fresh food to eat. <laughs> now let's see what else we can learn. <clears throat> I can't believe how big you've grown. I remember when you were just a baby living in Africa. Hey, that's a good clue. The animal comes from Africa. But how are we going to find out which animals at the zoo come from Africa? Well, why don't we find out with... The Adventure Screen! <laughs> a zoo is a place where animals from many different places come together and live. The animals come from all over the world. Here are some animals that come from Africa. <laughs> oh, look. A zebra comes from Africa. Its black and white stripes are so pretty. <laughs> That's a hippopotamus. I learned in school that a hippo loves the water and is an excellent swimmer. That's right. Hippos spend most of their days in water. <laughs> And those are called gazelles. They live in big groups and can run very fast. They're pretty. Maybe Stella's present goes to a gazelle. Hmm. That's a giraffe. Uh -huh. They're the ones with long necks. That's right. Their long necks help them reach the leaves at the very tip top of trees. Wow, a lot of cool animals come from Africa. That's right, Robert. And a zoo is a great place to see them. <laughs> but I, I don't have any wiggle teeth. You won't until you're about six years old. But now that you're three, you're old enough to go to the dentist. <laughs> I am? What's that like? Well, I could tell you, but I think it'll be more fun to show you with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's important to take care of your teeth, and one way to do it is by visiting the dentist. Wow! <laughs> when you go for your appointment, you say hello to the person at the front desk who will tell the dentist you're here. Then you'll wait in the waiting room, where you can read stories or play with toys until they call your name. Wow! <laughs> The dentist's assistant covers your clothes to keep them tidy. That's right. And you get to sit in a special chair that leans way back. <laughs> she cleans your teeth with a special kind of toothbrush. It tickles. But you should try to sit still. Mm -hmm. Out. Next, she'll use dental floss to clean between your teeth. Now the dentist is ready to look at your teeth. The bright light above the chair helps him see into your mouth. If it shines into your eyes, you can just close them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, he uses a special little mirror to look around inside your mouth. If everything looks okay, you're all done. That didn't take long. Mm -hmm. And when it's time to go, you may get a nice new toothbrush and even a hug. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks for showing us your fire engine. You're welcome. How do you learn to use all this equipment? We go through a training program. It's a special school for firefighters. Oh, cool. I'd like to see that school. So would I, Robert. So why don't we take a look with... Fire 
firefighters learn all about fighting fires at a special school. They practice putting on their firefighting suits so they can get to a fire when the fire alarm sounds. Wow, look at their suit! Huh? Isn't it awesome? Their school has a special empty building. They use it to practice what they've learned. That's neat. They quickly pull out their fire hoses, take their equipment from the engine, and enter the building carefully. Wow. They have to really work together. Mm -hmm. They even climb ladders to reach places far off the ground. Oh, how cool. cool. Yeah. Once they've gotten inside and put out the fire, they spray more water to clear out the smoke. Firefighters work very, very hard to learn how to fight fires yeah. so they can help keep all of us safe and sound. That's so cool! <laughs> oh, it must be nice to have wings so you can fly whenever you want to. Oh, it is! <laughs> you know, watching how birds fly gave people the idea for building airplanes. It did? <laughs> oh, Barney, tell me more. Well, I could tell you, but it would be more fun to show you with... Uh, the Adventure Screen! <laughs> Birds fly through the air by flapping their wings. Wow, wow look at that one. <laughs> and a long time ago, people thought they could fly if they had wings to flap. <laughs> but um, <laughs> flapping didn't work too well. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, whoops! Oh, no! Oh, but wings were a very good idea. And finally, the first airplane flew in the air. Wow, yay! Wow, he's way up there. <laughs> Today, there are lots of different airplanes. Little ones and great big ones. And they all have wings. So if you ever get to fly in an airplane, remember to say thank you to the birds. Thank you, Miss Edda. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. Oh, 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 oh